looks like this probably comes up a little bit and then it goes back down. I think I'm going to correct that a little bit. Watching for curves, just constantly thinking, what is that? Ooh, just the way he holds his mouth probably says an awful lot, even if it isn't uh, you know, a permanent part, it may say what he's thinking, what he's feeling at the moment. So I'm going to capitalize on all those little subtle subtleties. And then document again. I think I said this last week. You know, the, the curve of his mustache, like mine, remember I said mine goes tends to go one direction. And probably everybody has a little idiosyncrasy like that, an individual way uh, just like you have a cowlick on your hair, or whatever, there's a direction to everything. So I don't want to just put a mustache on, I want to pay attention and pay attention to his characteristics in the mustache. And I don't want to get too carried away with this because these are going to become spaces. I can always tap them off, I'm not going very dark, but I want to go down in between and make them spaces in between the hairs. So we cannot draw white hairs with a dark pencil. Now every once in a while you'll have a dark hair. I have some in my beard. My beard used to be extremely dark. My hair used to be very dark. And, uh, and so there's still a few uh, places where that's the color of my hair. Just all of a sudden, boom, there's a dark one. Well, I want to be able to just come in and make make that as a contrast. Maybe even use it as a, a little bit of a guide, but now I have these coming back this way. And I'll put on some of those initial lines and the direction, but then I'm going to come in later, if not some of them right away, and create that reversal of the negative and put it into a positive by taking an edge to one of those lines and going over and meeting another one so that I can make spaces out of them instead of trying to depend on the pencil line to communicate everything. Now, remember, I may end up by creating a few more lines than what I really want to end up with. And so I'm going to put some of these down here only to tap them off and or enjoy, enjoying or, you know, put a tone in between one line and another. Often that's by, again, creating a V so that I can end up, uh, you know, creating that space that shows something's past down in the recesses of this beard and mustache. I don't want this to get too dominant. I think I, I want it there, but I don't. I don't want that smile line to go all the way up to this. So we'll just make this a, a softer contour. And now we're getting back to the darker recesses and I'm going to go lighter, lighter, lighter as I come away from that separation in his lips, between his lips. Remember, I don't want to outline my my uh, my lips. It may seem well. I can't see them though. Well, some things are just almost always naturally subliminal, and uh, and our we can still figure out where the edge of the lip is as we are patient and creating that gradation out from the separation in his mouth. But I want that opportunity to push that back and then not have a line for the outside edge. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, if you did, uh, subscribe below and uh, also share it with your friends. So we'll see you in the next one.